together with Dover Dreams in third and farther back, Sea Pines in four, three quarters up in one twelve and three. Less than three sixteenths to the finish. And it is Nest who has taken over. It's Nest in front and drawing away here in the stretch. Dover Dreams moving up on the outside into second. It will be the first time starter. Nest to a breaker maiden. First time out going a mile and a sixteenth. Then it was Dover Dreams, followed by Annihilate. Comparing that time going forward, not sure what she beat, but she did it impressively. Five and three, striking speed by a length and a half. As Rocco Strong gets closer in second, FF Rocket advances down at the rail. And on the outside is my first Grammy, followed by Unleveraged. The field is coming for the top of the stretch. Here is Rocco Strong. FF Rocket is down at the rail. And the gaining ground on the outside is my first. Has dropped completely out of it. And they're moving for the eighth pole. It is FF Rocket down at the rail. My first Grammy on the outside in second. It's between those two. Down on the inside is FF Rocket. And on the outside, here is my first Grammy, but it is FF Rocket half length. My first Grammy was second. Big break. Back to Rocco Strong and unleveraged. By a half length. On our way, boys, on the outside in second in the opening quarter, 22 and two-fifth seconds. The front two have a little more than two lengths. On a quick return in third, then a gap of three to Seven Lilies, who's down on the inside in fourth. Alongside is Him She Kisses. Farther back, it's Quick Flash, and Notorious Flirt has dropped back to last. And the field is at the top of the stretch. It's looking for trouble on the inside. On our way, boys, on the outside. With quick return into third. And seven lilies gaining ground towards the rail as they come for the eighth pole. Looking for trouble. Trying to hold off. Quick return. It's looking for trouble. Quick return on the outside. It is still looking for trouble. And quick return. The two of them come on to the finish here. And it is quick return by a neck. Looking for trouble was second. Seven Lilies and Quick Flash. Number four, Quick Return off the claim for Fal Sober Fort Peck with Doubly Blessed racing in third. And the field goes around the far turn. The half one in 46 and two fifth seconds. Life is good, the leader here by a full length. Fort Peck is in second by four. And Doubly Blessed is next in third. And now the field is coming for the top of the stretch. With Life is Good, the three-year-old leading Fort Peck by a little more than a length. And Doubly Blessed is third. They come off the turn and enter the stretch. Life is Good still in command here. And Life is Good now asks for a bit more here by Arad Ortiz Jr. And he is responding. Life is Good has opened up a five-length lead. And then it is Fort Peck and Doubly Blessed. Life is Good back in the winner's circle in his Belmont debut, he wins the grade two Kelso and won it by almost five. The mile went in one minute, 34 and one fifth seconds. Life is good, getting his picture taken in an impressive win in the Kelso. No, no, this was this was a nice effort by him. He obviously he was just had an overmatched field in here, and Irad got him to settle down and relax in the back stretch. I like it when he plunks his speed, but that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> but he's a he's a brilliant racehorse. I'm I'm a big fan, and I'm looking forward to him going forward. I I still wish he was pointing towards the classic. Mm -hmm. I think he's every bit as talented as any horse in the country. So so talented. Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile potentially next for him. Two dollar and the leader here is Time Limit by a half length. On the outside is a Gotta Go Mo running in second through a quarter in 23 and one fifth seconds. As they race around the far turn, it's time limit on the inside. And on the outside is a Gotta Go Mo sitting just off them is Jay McKay who is down at the rail. And on the outside it is a Royal Address in fourth, followed by Too Sexy in fifth, half and 46 and two as the field comes into the stretch. It is time limit closest to the rail. Gotta go, Mo now draws alongside. Too Sexy is kicking in on the outside along with Royal Address. So it's four of them across the track with a 16th to the finish. And here is Too Sexy to take over and win it. Too Sexy by two. Royal Address was second, photo for third. As they go around the far turn, 
It's Silver Samurai challenged here by Overstep. The two of them are heads apart. The quarter 22 and four. Just off them, tapping the bank, runs in third. Then it's a break of a little more than two. My last mission is down at the rail. Drossel Diem's in between horses. Thrill of it is on the outside, and Asymmetric is being asked for more at the back of the pack. The field comes off the turn and enters the stretch, and here is Overstep now to take over. Overstep is in front and draws away here. Overstep opening up on this field. Overstep. The favorite first-time starter winning in a big way. He asymmetric, who was last, has come on to get second, but no threat to this winner. Overstep. And Rod Ortiz Jr. with his third win today. Asymmetric was second, and thrill of it finished third. And Jealous Warrior is alongside. It is Opry holding on to the lead here over flop shot. Opry by a long neck. Flop shot right there on the outside at second. Now draws right alongside. So it is flop shot and Opry, the two of them right together, coming to the top of the stretch. Journeyman is third. Then winning factor down on the inside is Price Talk and Angelus Warrior. And the field is coming. Warrior. And the field is coming down for the eighth pole. Here is flop shot now to take over the lead with Price Talk coming on now. Price Talk with a lot to say about the finish here. Here is Price Talk to take over. It is Price Talk in front, and Price Talk will be the winner over Flop Shot. Shamrocket came on to get third. By a length and a half, in a hurry in second. And now Miss Dracaris makes her move on the outside at the third, and that move is followed by Clara Peters, Bramble Queen down at the rail, back running in fifth. Farther back it is, Platinum Painter in a hurry, has now taken over the lead from Kitten by the Sea as they come into the stretch. It's in a hurry on the outside. Kitten by the Sea continues to battle on down at the rail. Then Clara Peters and Miss Dracaris with a furlong to the finish. In a hurry, getting away now. In a hurry in front by almost three. Then Miss Dracaris and Clara Peters. In a hurry, Javier Castellano on his third win today. Looked like Mr. Caras got second over Clara. And then, hoo hoo, that's me. Runs in fifth, about four lengths from the front. Pursuit of Justice down at the rail, followed by a bow in the back after the slow start. Brady's legacy is moving up, and Eddie the Great is the trailer in ninth. Up front, it's Hot Rod Rumble down at the rail. In between horses is a devious banker. And on the outside is Iron Lion in Zion. So it's three of them across through a quarter in 22 and three. Hoo hoo, that's me, is gaining ground, but will be forced very wide as the field comes into the stretch. The half mile in 46 seconds. It's Hot Rod Rumble. Here comes Hoo Hoo, that's me, up to challenge on the outside. Hot Rod Rumble and Hoo Hoo, that's me, has taken over with a 16th to the finish. Hoo hoo, that's me. On to victory here. And it's a double for Dylan Davis. Hot Rod Rumble was second. Devious Banker finished third. Nice. Miss Teheran is the trailer. Pocket Square now makes her move and is going up to challenge for the lead. Here comes Pocket Square on the outside to challenge Lake Lucerne for the lead. Miss Teheran has now moved into third. A furlong to the finish. Here is Pocket Square. Now to take over the lead here in the stretch. It is Pocket Square in front. Miss Teheran moves to second. This is a milestone victory for trainer Chad Brown. 100. Graded stakes at Belmont. A lot of ability, a lot expected of her uh, favor to grant. On to the lead here with Cinderella's cause getting closer now on the outside in second. Live in five is third, followed by the gray Steppenhawk down at the rail in fourth. And now they're past the eighth pole. Here comes Cinderella's cause up on the outside to challenge Madame Rose for the lead. And Cinderella's cause has taken over. Madame Rose is running in second. It will be Cinderella's cause at a price to wrap up the Saturday at Belmont.